Hey there Aquarius Pisces, welcome to your reading. So today, we're going to take a look at your career, okay? We're going to take a look at what is blocking you at this moment, what you need to heal, and where you're headed after that, okay? So keep in mind it's a general reading, you may want to check out your individual signs if it doesn't resonate. But if it does, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below. And uh, actually, I have a surprise for you because I created a new Instagram account. It's dedicated to self-care and self-love and everything. It's interactive and everything. Uh, it's for you. So if you're interested in self-care and that kind of stuff, then definitely check the link below and give me a follow over there. And yeah, that's it. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have for you for Aquarius Pisces. Let's see. Can we get one from here? We already have over here impatience, faith, and oh, friendship. Look at all this purple. That's beautiful energy, especially because like bottom of the deck, we have more purple here. Believe in magic. And um, I feel like there's, there's something here about like, I feel like you have impatience and I feel like you want to do more and I feel like you want to achieve something. But at the same time, I don't think you're doing much about it. You know, does that make sense? It's almost like you're dreaming of it. Maybe your Pisces side, it's very dreamy. It's very prominent right now and it's, it's imagining everything. And then the actually taking action may be lacking a little bit because you have like a lot of third eye chakra over here, believing in magic, you know. And sure, that's good. That's the first step of manifestation, but then you have to take action according to it. And it's actually interesting because as I was shuffling this deck, I was seeing a lot. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's time to take a leap of faith with that joy over there. And as I was shuffling this deck, I was seeing a lot the instinct card and destiny. Those two were showing up over and over and over again. And I really feel like whatever you're doing right now, it's sort of like you're aligning, especially with this alignment here, you're aligning with your um, purpose, but it's like it's time to face stuff. It's time to take action towards stuff. Because I feel like you're thinking about everything and you're not really doing. Okay, you may need to ask for advice. Uh, or support from friends with this friendship over here. I feel like, you know, sometimes with that friendship, it can show up as some people blocking your path. In this case, I really feel like it's some people that um, are, are really there for you and can really encourage you to do more and to kind of motivate you to go towards stuff, okay? Um, yeah, look at that. The, it's almost like you're dreaming of this ten of cups, but what your mind is creating... Is limiting beliefs of like oh but maybe I don't have enough oh but maybe I'm not experienced oh but maybe it's never gonna happen oh but I okay I don't know what that was um maybe I you've tried it in the past and it didn't work and it's never gonna work you know what if it does you know because all of this swords are all about the mind all of these are thoughts all of these are things that you're telling yourself and it doesn't have to necessarily be the truth because with this ten of cups I feel like you can have it Okay, it's a matter of you believing in magic, you going towards it and um, doing something about it. There we go with, ooh, look at all this major kind of, um, there we go with the Pisces energy of you dreaming it. So high priestess, lovers, oh Jesus, page of wands and judgment. I really feel that you need to be a little bit more spontaneous. There's like friends can help you and I feel like they can motivate you. But in the end, it's only you that can decide what is the right path for you. So there could be a friend telling you, oh, you know, this really worked for me and you can give it a try. But if it doesn't call you, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. OK, I feel like it's time for you to be a little bit uh, independent in the sense that you can get a lot of information, you can get a lot of advice, but only you know what is best for you at this moment. Only you know how to achieve it, okay? I feel like those friends are going to be there for you no matter what. It doesn't matter if you go to Spain. It doesn't matter if you go to Japan. It doesn't matter if you choose this path or you choose this one. It's whatever fits you. It's whatever is good for you. Those friends are going to be there because I really see um, 
this could also be about love, but I feel like with friendship over there, um, it definitely feels more like true friendship and um, just a lot of love, a lot of respect for you. And I feel like you may be a little bit afraid of disappointing them, of not doing what they want. And I feel like all they want is for you to be happy. So it's time for you to take action here, okay? Especially with this page of wands, spontaneous action, inspired action. All right, because again, judgment, you're aligning with whatever you want to do. You're aligning with your most beautiful path. So it's time to take action, okay? Keep hearing it. Take action, take action. Inspired one. It's not about doing what's logical, okay? I feel like you're dreaming something. I feel like you're working with two realities. It's like you're working with the reality you actually want and the one you're dreaming of. But then your mind see, starts saying like, oh, but it's never going to happen. Oh, but it's going to take a lot of work. Oh, but it's not going to be right now. Da -da 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 -da. And then you have another reality, which is the logical one. And I feel like what's being asked for you, it's don't do the logical one. Go towards the dreamy one. The one that would be the most amazing thing. Start building it. Start doing something about it. You are not going to disappoint anyone. Okay, again, the energy I get from this friendship, it's not like blocked energy at all. It's a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of like motivation. So whatever you want to do, just freaking do it. Okay, let me see here this high priestess. Ten of wands, yeah. I really feel like there's something here that is not letting you move. Doubt. Okay, it's mainly doubt and a lot of stuff from the past. Um, and when I say from the past, it could be lim limiting beliefs that you've learned as a child or something um, that we society learn. And like your dreams are not able to come true. Whatever you're dreaming of, it's not achievable. You're dreaming too high. None of that is true. Okay, none of that is true. I really feel like what are you dreaming? It's your purpose. It's your purpose. Okay, it's no little thing. And I feel like you're making it impossible when it's actually not. All right? It's actually not at all. Yeah. Again, I really feel like your friends are just so kind to you. Ace of Cups here, it's like they're telling you, dude, just do something about it. You know? This could be a specific friend. Um, we do have here Gemini. We have um, Pisces. A lot of Pisces. Um, but I feel like you're neglecting your Pisces side. It's the one that's more vivid at this moment, but at the same time, it's the one that you're neglecting and just avoiding. Don't avoid. Okay? Judgment over here. Where are we headed? Ooh, towards movement. Look at this. Look at freaking this. We have justice, knight of swords, strength. So you are able to find a balance that you want. I feel like you're able to create the life that you want with like time for you to do what you love time for you to work you know there's a little bit of both you are able to move things really forward and really fast okay knight of swords is the, the fastest um one of the fastest knights of the tarot and you're really able to move things into a speed that you never thought was possible and with the strength it's like you're creating a really nice foundation you're creating something that well not only gives you strength but also keeps you motivated. It's something that really lights you up. It's something that really makes you feel comfortable and excited at the same time. So just freaking do it, okay? I feel like you're not necessarily playing small, but dream and achieve, okay? Listen to the Pisces. The Pisces is right, the Aquarius is totally wrong. <laughs> something like that. Let go of control. Everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. You are not alone. Bubble bath and face mask. And it's interesting because... Jesus. Uh, it's interesting because the you are not alone, I usually see it has... Um, I usually see it has like your spirit guides and everything. And that's what it's supposed to, to do. Um, what's supposed to mean. But here, I really feel like it's you're surrounded by support. It doesn't matter, again, it doesn't matter if you're going to across the world, they are always going to be there. And you're also going to find other people that align with you in that new place, okay? 
And that new place could be something as simple as moving jobs. That new place could be something as simple as moving from like getting a promotion or asking for a promotion. If you want that, go chase it. Go ask for it. Okay? So we also have here external factors. I really feel like you're thinking too much about um, who you're going to disappoint and how are things going to play out for other people. And you need to think more about you and what you want. Okay? Look around. There's something you're not seeing. Follow your intuition. That is showing up again and move okay so this could be physical movement here and also i want you uh i love when this shows up i want you to think of a question think of a situation here what is the the dream what do you think that dream is that we're talking about here in this reading think about it do you want to know if it is that that you're thinking of yes it is okay yes it is so, freaking do it, okay? Uh, again, there may be some physical movement here, but it's just freaking move, <laughs> okay? Just take action. Just take freaking action. So let's see, final messages here for you. Confidence, it comes with time and practice, 100%. We'll talk about it. Expectations. Don't seek anyone else's approval. Uh, and Lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. So, it's all... This two are really confirming what we were just talking about. Like, you have enough. You have the skills. You have everything. You just need to start doing it. And even if you feel like you don't, with this, especially with this card of the confidence, it comes with time and practice, you are not going to know everything. Just now. You're constantly evolving, you're constantly growing, and that's the most amazing thing about following your dreams, is that you're constantly knowing more. And I feel like you you were, you may be thinking that I need to be an, a master in this. I need to know everything I need to know to make this happen. You don't. You don't. When I started doing tarot, I didn't know shit. I was terrible at it. I was constantly questioning myself and doubting my intuitive hints and everything. And I feel more confident. It comes with time. It comes with practice. It comes with you. Just freaking do it. Okay? Just freaking do it. If you don't want to quit your job, that's, that's fine. That's okay. Start doing this dream as a side hustle. You know? For some of you, it may, it may be around that. Alright? Just do something about this. Just do something about it. Okay? So, Aquarius Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you're interested in private reading, the link is going to be down below. Okay? So, I love you very much. Freaking do this. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.